Oasis was on this show. And I remember sitting backstage, and I got my sideways hat on, and I got my fucking nose piercings and, and, and crazy shit. And had the doors open up, and here come all these guys in trench coats with Beatles haircuts. And first reaction, I was like, oh, he's... Like they look pretty fucking cool, <laughs> you know, they look cool. But they're not punk rockers, but whatever. But I'm kind of thinking about what Strummer said. So we go up and we play our show. We weren't that big of a band yet. So we were really fucking rude, like in the funniest way. But like we, we would take those moments because 17,000 people were watching us that didn't know who we were. And we were playing with other bands. So we would just say really bad shit, like we should go to jail for the shit we were saying kind of shit. And, um, and it was funny. So we get off stage. I'm covered in sweat. The door f uh, flies open, and here comes the singer of Oasis, Liam. And he goes, are you guys Blink-182? And I say, yeah. And he pauses, and he goes, you're the best I've seen in America. I'm all, you like us. He goes, I didn't say that, but you're the best I've seen in America. And he slammed the door. And I looked at everyone else, I go, oh my God, that was the most punk rock dude I've ever met in my life. The whole experience, I, I became the biggest Oasis fan after that, where from that day forward, I stopped listening to punk rock music and I started listening to everything. Because I think we all love, oh wait, I love Oasis. And I miss, we've played shows with them before where I look at them and I'm like, that's the greatest rock band I've ever seen in my life. They just stand there. It's not like they're bouncing around the stage. And to to know that like they're out there somewhere, um, but they won't come together to do the thing that everybody would love so much. Yeah. It's like you <laughs> just do it, man. Like we're dying for it. And so and we like the like they're nice people. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. We, we've I, known I, all of them and all of them for years. They're, yeah, fu they're, they're fun, they're fun, you know. You always hear yeah. that they're, they have such crazy reputations of being, you know, the Oasis guys. And then you see them at a bar and they show you pictures of their kids. Oh, look at my son. And you're like, wow, <laughs> oh, you're like a normal <laughs> dude. You know? Okay, there they are, the Gallagher brothers, yeah. the Oasis, Nolan Liam, marks out 10 for the last album. So, <laughs> yeah, they're just horrible. <laughs> They're just, they're just horrible. horrible. Why, why? Horrible guys. They're rude, not as talented as they think they are. Mm. Well, they actually, I mean, I, I won't mince words here, but I mean, they've had a go at me personally. Mm -hmm. and, and I, well, you say he's had a go at you. I mean, he did recently say, um, I'm sure you're probably aware of this quote, that during the last election, he said, um, everybody must vote Labour because yeah. if you vote Conservative, <laughs> Phil Collins will come back and live in Britain. Yeah, well, he was quoting something that was said way, way back. Uh, everybody can s assumes that I'm a Conservative, see, because mm. I've got a lot of money. Mm. But I'm not a conservative at all, never have been. But he was using the fact that I'd gone to Switzerland, to go to Switzerland, must be taxed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they keep having a go at me, which, which is, I find strange. I mean, yes. I seem to embody... Do you think this program this... will do anything to heal the <laughs> no, rift? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I personify all that. He's actually called me the Antichrist of music. Really? Yeah. Yeah, apparently, which, which surprised me. I mean, they are very egotistical. No one said, um, we're not arrogant, we just believe we're the best <laughs> band in the world. <laughs> <laughs> there is nobody. I just read an article in Mojo. There is nobody, apart from Coldplay for the moment, yeah. there's nobody that they think is worth anything apart from them. But they are very popular, though, with certain... They're know, very popular. I mean, as I say, if you can stomach their behaviour, mm. then mm. the music is OK. You know? mm. I'm, not, I'm not having to go to Oasis the band, actually, because there's some good songs, and I love the Beatles. Mm -hmm. you love the Beatles. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a great nod to that. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I heard the music long before I knew what these guys were like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oasis lead singer Liam Gallagher has been greatly criticised by one of his biggest heroes, former Beatle George Harrison. Oasis have always made it well known what massive Beatles fans they are, but as far as George is concerned, the band would be better off without their lead singer. Oh, he's like a bit out of date. You know, I mean, he's a bit of a... It's just, it's just silly. It's silly. I feel a bit sorry for him, really, because I think he's totally missed the bus. And I think it was proven when you see the band without him singing. You know, they're more in tune and they, they can... You know, I mean, he's just excess baggage, I think. And all he does is, you know, make people think what a bunch of prannies they are. genius this year is Liam Gallagher. Yeah. Are you fans? What does he mean to you? He means everything. Liam's amazing. 
I'm sorry to say this, viewers at home, but there wouldn't be us if there wasn't him. Exactly, so. exactly. Do you remember how Oasis and Liam first came into your lives? Yeah, I can remember it. it, it you need a, like, we need like a two-hour like therapy session for how important that man was in my life. Seriously, I mean, I mean, because Sergio would like buy the CDs and stuff, be here now and all that. Remember? Well, you got to remember, like. I'd never worn a tracksuit to school in my life, right, until Liam went on in Main Road and he had an Umbro tracksuit on, do you remember the one? Right, the next day, that tracksuit never left my body. And that's when I went to school, that was my outfit. The Umbro one? The Umbro one, yeah, man. The, the Main the Road one. Umbro tracksuit yeah. is the best outfit. See, that's like, see, that's up there with I, any I fucking thing. I love those scene. Like. The Surgeon's Band with Oasis. There you go. Now, being a lot of controversy, being some hate, people saying they don't, you know, Noel Gallagher, an established, respected, was respected artist, saying he doesn't want you at Glasgow, he wasn't right. How, how have you felt with that, man? How have you, you've never had that before. People always want to see you, Jay. You yeah, but you know, I mean, you know, that sometimes, you know, uh, remarks are made out of ignorance. If, if Noel Gallagher see me perform and he said that, then I understand that, you know, that's a personal opinion and I can't, uh, you know, I have no uh, bearing on how he feels, you know, you know, it's just not your taste, mm. you know, but he's never seen me perform, I'm sure, or else he wouldn't say that, you know. Nah, we'll see what happens after that, the night, though. Yeah, exactly. This is nah, what it looks oh, like. It's so Oasis are at heart just a rock band, and Blur are at heart a complete pile of shit. Girls from Deep Barnes will be Oh, yeah, I like that song. But you know, Oasis rock. I mean, they know how to rock. They have some like, they have some swagger. They have some attitude. Mm -hmm. Oasis come along with this total f you attitude and swagger, and we're the best band on the planet, and you're not. And so, how can you not? I, I mean, you might be offended by it, but how can you not admire somebody who comes yeah. along and says that? Our editor would like to know who you think was better, you lot or Oasis. Well, that's not a very grown-up question for Newsnight, is it? I'll pass that on. I think Oasis were better. Do you? Yeah, you I think don't. They, I do. I do. I think they. I think they were. They were uh, better at communicating who they were than we were. I think it's a really good song. Wish I'd written it. Great song, great, great vocal on it. It's a good voice, Liam. But I think that's their finest moment. Do you think there will ever be a band as big as Oasis again? No, and I'd probably say unfortunately not. Or not a band as big, with as big an attitude, or as big an appeal, or just a whole as big a persona, or whatever, you know? Yeah, I just want that sort of reach out and touch these people. And <coughs> no, not, not, not the way we were. We were the last, last of the punk rockers, weren't we? Yeah. Bands don't, you know, yeah, you, there are good bands that come up and all that, but they're not, they're good, and that's all they are. They're not, they're, none of them with the attitude or the give a fuck attitude that we had, you know what I mean? And we're, there was none more passionate about what we were doing than us. I, I don't believe that bands now are that passionate, you know, that passionate way you just want to start kicking fucking windows in because you're that yeah. passionate, yeah. you know, where you just, you just blow up, you just like, ah, oh, fucking yes, you come off after doing a gig and you just want to, you just want to fucking go mad. And, You know, in all honesty, I've got to be proud and happy that I was part of something so big. We got, you know, five normal lads took something from nothing to the heights kind of thing. It was fantastic. You know, it's kind of... We're part, that's, 
we're part of a living, breathing band, an organism that should have what's the word? Absolutely. Tempestuousness or whatever you call it, you know. So if it's happy families, I think your music might sound a bit like that. You're a better musician. <laughs> Well, before I joined the band, my favourite was always Live Forever. This is my favourite one as a fan. Maybe I don't really wanna know. As a member, I mean, since I joined, Songbird's really amazing. Talking to the songbird yesterday. Stop crying your heart out. I'm a bit soppy, I like the uh, Let There Be Love kind of, these ones. I like Bag It Up on the new album. I love being in a band. You know, there's no greater feeling in the world than walking out on a, sta on a stage with your kind of, with your mates and, um, you know, I was in, <coughs> you know, we used to get out of the back of cars at Wembley Stadium and there'd be like a hundred articulated lorries all there for you. I was come out of a rehearsals the other night for my tour. You know how many trucks are there? I don't know. One. <laughs> <laughs> One pathetic little truck. So, so, you, so, you, so you missed the scale? I missed the scale of it and I missed the camaraderie of it, but, you know, we were at it for 18 years yeah. and we went from just lads on a council estate with a battered acoustic guitar and we went... We took it around the world, we went everywhere. One of the it, biggest it, bands in the world, Yeah, and it can't... Things just don't last forever, it's no. as simple as that. And it, it, the way that it ended is horrible. This is what I found strange, because you only had, like, four or five gigs or something left in, the, in that tour. I think it was three. Three, three gigs three. left, so if you could have just got through those three gigs, <clears throat> yeah. it would have been quite a clean break. Yep. <laughs> but he, he, he threw fruit at me. It... <laughs> Um, sorry, but once... Well, there's no coming back once, from that. Once the fruit basket has been yeah. tampered with... <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay. The okay. end. So, um, what's the dumbest question you've ever been asked? The dumbest question? Yeah. Uh, I guess, like, the Oasis thing, when's Oasis getting back? It's, it's nothing to do with me, it's not in my hands. It's all in Noel's hands, you know what I mean? He's the one that's, uh, not playing ball, so... People sort of think that I'm the one who's stopping it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's totally not down. So if it's all in his court, it's why, all in why, his court. why is he not? Because I don't think, for one, I don't think he's got it in him anymore to play the songs. I don't think he's a rock and roll as he likes to make out. I think he wants to be a different artist, you know what I mean? Which is fine, you know what I mean? People, he doesn't owe me anything and I don't owe him anything. He doesn't owe the fans anything and he doesn't, you don't, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it, you know what I mean? So it sounds like you actually really understand his reasons why oh, he doesn't I get, like it. I get it, man, I get it. But the reasons that he says to the press is because he can't work with me because I'm I'm a bit of a dickhead. Well, I'm not. He's, he's more of a dickhead, do you know what I mean? You know, you know, oh, Liam can't do it anymore. I've just fucking proved it. I do it standing on my head, mate, you know what I mean? So he likes all the attention. And he knows when he comes to stand next to me, he's like a wallflower, you know what I mean? Mm. It's a complicated dynamic, isn't it? Very complicated. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but it's fun as well. Ever consider an Oasis reunion? I, I feel have, you would. Without a doubt, that's my band, you know what I mean? Without a doubt, but we've got to become brothers first, I think, you know what I mean? Before we start talking about music. Once, if we, once we start liking each other, inevitably, I think the next step would be to take the band out for a little spin around the block, you know sure, what I mean? Sure, why not? Why not? People want it, you know what I mean? And I like it. I'm, I love Oasis, it's the best thing ever. <laughs>